In today's data-driven world, business and organizations are generating massive amounts of data from various sources. This data often exists in multiple system formats and location, which is making it difficult to process, analyze and extract meaningful insights. To effectively manage and integrate this data, company needs a reliable and effective solution that can handle data extraction, transformation and loading from multiple sources to the centralized data warehouse. This is where SQL Server Integration or SSIS comes to the play. SSIS is a powerful ETL tool from Microsoft that helps organizations to streamline their business data integration process. But why exactly should we use SSIS over other solution and how can you get started with it? In this video, you will learn about SSIS. Hi, this is Krupali from Knowhow Academy. I welcome you all to SSIS tutorial. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. First, you will learn what is SSIS. Second thing, you will learn why use SSIS. And third thing, you will learn how to install SSIS on your machine so you can start working with it effectively. So without delay, let's get started. So first of all, let me tell you what is SSIS. SSIS stands for SQL Server Integration Services, which is a powerful ETL tool from Microsoft. It is used to automate the process of moving and transforming data between the different system, database and different format. SSIS helps in data integration, cleansing, migration and loading data into data warehouse or other destination, which is making it essential for data management and business intelligence tasks. So that is all about SSIS. Now let me tell you the second thing, why use SSIS? You should use SSIS for the following reasons. First, efficient data integration. That means SSIS allow you to easily integrate data from multiple sources like database, flat file, web services and more into the centralized location such as data warehouses. Second reason is data transformation. It provides powerful tool to clean transform and reshape data before loading into the target system and ensuring data consistency and quality. The third reason is automation. SSIS enable you to automate complex ETL workflow, saving time and reducing manual effort for repetitive data processes. The fourth reason is scalability. SSIS can handle large volume of data and is highly scalable, making it suitable for both small and enterprise level data integration tasks. The fifth reason is error handling and logging. It offers built-in error handling, logging and debugging capabilities, helping you track and resolve issue effectively. The sixth reason is integration with Microsoft ecosystem. As a part of the SQL Server suite, SSIS integrates seamlessly with other Microsoft tools like SQL Server, Azure, and Power BI, enhancing its versatility in data solution. So we can say that overall, we can say that SSIS is ideal for organization which is looking to streamline data workflow, ensure data quality, and support business intelligence initiatives. So I hope you understand why use SSIS. Now let me tell you the third thing. How to install SSIS in your machine so that you can use it efficiently. 
So first of all, you need to download SQL Server in your machine. Now remember, SQL Server will work only in Windows operating system. If you have Mac operating system, then you should use virtual machine and inside that you should install Microsoft Windows operating system and then you should install SQL Server. We have already created a video on how to install SQL Server Management Studio in your Windows system as well as in your Mac operating system. Link is given in the description. So I have already installed SQL Server Management Studio. Then the second thing you need to install that is Visual Studio Community version. Okay, so let me go to the Google Chrome and search for Visual Studio IDE for download. Okay, okay, you can use any operating system, just Windows. So here you will get the first link Visual Studio tools and here you need to download the community version. Okay, so it will download, just wait. So here the setup is downloaded. Uh, double click on that and it will open. Then here before you uh, read the uh, message that uh, you can configure the install and all this thing but let me click on continue so it will download it in your system and then it will start installing in your system just wait for some time so here you will get this screen here you need to select first the dotnet desktop framework and you should down uh, go down and select the data storage and processing and if you want to select any other uh, things that you can select it uh, then you should select install while downloading or download and then install but I am selecting install while downloading and click on install you can select any other things that python development azure development all all these things and you can also check it out the what are the frameworks and language pack and where it is installing okay so you can check this and here i am keeping the option as a win uh, install while downloading and click on install now remember it is 9.33 gb so you should have enough space in your c drive so it can install easily and remember uh, you require minimum 4 GB RAM to work with Visual Studio IDE. So it is downloading. So it will take some time. Just wait until it's finished. So here our installation finished and uh, it is launching the Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. And you can skip it for now. No need to sign in. Here you can select the theme and uh, color so click on this so here this is your microsoft visual studio 2022 starting screen now here if you are creating your project first time in ssis you should install ssis extension in microsoft visual studio now if you want to make sure whether it's installed in your ssis or not you can click on new project and here you can search for integration and if it is not appearing that means that you need to install it then go back and continue without code and here you need to go to the extension and click on manage extension and then the screen will appear now here you need to search for ssis okay so here you will get the sql server integration services project okay then click on this and click on install then it will download uh, wait until it's finished it's uh, downloading and then you can double click and install it so here it is downloaded go to the download folder and double click and start installing it and click on ok and click on next click on install now here when you install it they are saying that you need to close all the visual studio instance which is opening so here let me close that and uh, let me close this installer also and click on ok and again click on install and uh, then again still just let it close again and just double click on it and install it again okay so here it's just uh, saying that uh, we need to close that uh, watson 2 services so let me just restart my computer and then it will automatically uh, closed let me close that and restart my computer after restarting my computer 
let me double click on it and start installing so here it will download that sql server integration services and then it will install still it will take some time so you need to wait so after installing this again you need to restart your computer so here sql server integration service project is successfully installed click on close then after you need to start visual studio 2022 and here click on create new project and here you need to check it whether the integration service is installed or not by writing just uh, here integration or here you can see that integration service project azure integration service project and integration service import project wizard so if these three things you will able to find it on your screen or otherwise if you search integration then uh, here you will see that that means your ssis is installed successfully for microsoft visual studio 2022 so i hope you understand before ending this video let me tell you what you have learned from this video first what is ssis second why use ssis third thing how to install ssis in your machine thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out us stay curious keep learning